It has been 20 years since Benta Gola first found out she was HIV positive. At the time, she was only 27 years and six months heavy with her fourth-born child. But it has been a long walk to living freely but positively due to the stigma associated with the disease. We were pointed at, we were talked about, people still talked about us and it was sad. For some time, I told my counselor I don't have to go for medication. A situation that a majority of the 1.5 million persons in Kenya living with HIV have experienced at one point in their lives. But a situation that could change given the latest approval by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration of a two-shot combo called Cabinova. This becomes the latest innovation in treating what has become a chronic, manageable, but still incurable disease. An innovation that gives hope of reaching groups that have found a hard time sticking to treatment people with mental illness and those that have substance abuse problems. It's going to uh, make it easy for people to actually uh, take their medication mm -hmm. and hopefully I think it's going to improve the quality of life for uh, people living with HIV. That will be good because I'll organize myself, I know such and such a day, I'm not only going for injection then I come back. Yeah, so people will not be hiding themselves that she's just been tested, mm -hmm. she's not telling anyone, she's not going for medication, people will come out. The injectable known as Cabenova is a combination of two drug formulations, Cabotegravir, which is a new drug, and also one described to be able to prevent one from being infected with HIV, and Rilpriverin, a drug that has been used before in the treatment of HIV-positive persons. The drug, packaged together, will be given as separate shots once a month. And uh, we've come from far because you know, we came from a time when you know, people take up to 18 uh, pills a day, and, um, you know, there will be challenges because they have to take some of these pills with food. So there were challenges getting food. At times I'm so much exhausted. Uh, before I, I watch 9 p.m. news, I'm already asleep. So at times I forget. So uh, it has been a hurdle. According to the FDA press statement, an approval has also been made for vocabria, which is the Cabotegravir tablet formulation and which should be taken in combination with oral rilpriverin for one month prior to starting treatment with Cabenova. This is to ensure the medications are well tolerated before switching to the extended release injectable formulation. For Dr. Peter Cherutic, a public health and HIV AIDS specialist, the cost of the medication will be expensive in its initial stages, just like other innovations. However, given the commitment of donor funding, the drug will be made affordable over time. First, for you to get to injectables, your viral load must be well controlled. Um, of course, there are still challenges on children and dosing, uh, but that will come later on. At the moment, a majority of the persons living with HIV are taking one pill daily, which is a combination of three other drugs. And while the injectable will replace the daily pills, a HIV-positive person will be required to take other medications that will prevent them from opportunistic diseases. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.